welcome to The Proper Pineapple. Today I'm super excited because I have a finished object. And I'm outside again because it is still beautiful here in Texas. Absolutely love it. I will miss these beautiful winters whenever I go back to Michigan. But anyways, I have a finished object. It is a knitted cowl. If you watched my podcast just a few days ago on Halloween is when it came out. I was working on the froth. Froth? <laughs> I can't ever say it correctly. Froth Milk Cowl by, uh, her name is Holly Gap. It's right here at the bottom of the screen. And it is a free pattern on Ravelry. It is knitted. So I should let everybody know because I do knit and crochet. This is a knitted pattern. So first I'm gonna show it to you, then we're gonna talk about everything because I absolutely love this. So here is my finished. Isn't that pretty? You guys, the green in the natural light is like neon green. I love it. I will try it on for you guys here in a little bit. But so the pattern itself, let's talk about that. It is free, so that is great. I would definitely call it a beginner, maybe adventurous beginner pattern. Super simple. If you're willing to learn just three stitches, it is basically the knit stitch, a yarn over, and knit two together. That's it. The whole thing is done in the round and you can basically just go till you run out of yarn. It is a rolled um, hem on both the top and the bottom. Mine is not rolled, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, so rolled and so you don't have to worry about doing any like knit two, purl two or knit one, purl three, whatever. You can just knit, you just knit in the round and every once in a while you do these beautiful yarn overs that give you these holes. It's super simple. I would absolutely recommend you try this if you are new to knitting. If you are a pro at knitting, then I still say do it because this was mindless once you got going. Once I got going, I literally just kept track of what row I was on because it's basically a 10 row repeat, but it's it's not a 10 row repeat too. I don't want to give away too much. Oh, my cat is tearing up the screen. <laughs> you guys, it's always crazy over here at the pineapple house. Anyways. Um, it's super simple. You just keep track of where you are and then you just go and you do and it's so easy. It turned out wonderful. Now the pattern itself, let me go to it here because I've got all the info. The pattern itself is absolutely beautiful. It calls for 300 yards, 250 to 300 yards of yarn and it calls for what size knitting needles do I use? Two point, US 2s, uh, 2.75s, and that is what I used, I believe. No, <laughs> I lied earlier. I used a US 3, 3.25 on, I believe this is the 12 inch cord, and that worked out great for me. So, and for yarn, I was using Mint Rain hand dyed yarns, put that up there in her Witch's Brew colorway. Here's all the information on the yarn. I had intended to use every bit of yarn because I just wanted to use it all up. Why waste any of it? So I was gonna use, this was a, oh, 463 yards. So quite a bit more than what the pattern itself called for. And I was gonna use it all. And I ended up not because when I filmed the podcast on uh, Halloween Eve, I guess. Um, I had decided the next day our church was having a harvest party and I really wanted to wear this. So I weighed my ball and I had 30 grams left. And I know that the pattern takes about a, a little under a gram a row. So I had a, roughly 30 rows left. So I ended up doing um, the finishing because you knit for a certain amount, then you do the pattern, then you just knit for a little bit at the end of the pattern. So I ended up deciding to finish off the pattern right there. And that left me with about 21 grams of yarn, which I actually am not mad about because I've actually, uh, ow, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> I just, I want to start doing some scrappy projects. So this will be a great thing to add to said scrappy project. So I did use more than what the pattern called for because I used over 300 yards. I know I did but I didn't quite use the 463, but I love it, you guys. It turned out so great. One, okay, I'm gonna hold this up close. Let's admire my stitch work. Look at that, guys. 
it's so pretty. It's a little wonky where the yarn overs are, but the rest of it is so pretty. And I'm so proud of myself because normally when I knit, I have wonky stitches everywhere, you guys. You just can't get away from them. But this was great. Now, the bind off. She says in the pattern, I believe she says to bind off however you want, but a stretchy bind off would be best. The last knitted cowl I did, I did that Judy's um, super stretchy bind off or something like that, and I hated it because it made my, like my cowl went up and then the top kind of like flared out. Hated it, and I have said many, many times how I like my cowl to fit tight around my neck. So what I did was just a standard, uh, you'll knit two and then pass one over all the way around, so a standard bind off. And so it's not really, it kind of goes in. <laughs> instead of out and so it doesn't quite roll like the bottom does but I like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this on which is gonna be super funny on camera you guys because my hair is up in a ponytail Boop, there we go and I love it because it doesn't roll too much and it's not too flared out I can kind of tuck it under which is what I like to do and just wear it like this I love this it doesn't exactly go with my mustard yellow minion outfit I have on today, but it's so pretty. And this yarn, okay, let's talk about Mint Rain. Mint Rain hand dyed yarns. Oh, broke it. There it is. It's so nice. This was just a 7525 merino nylon blend, so like a sock yarn, but it's so soft and squishy. Um, to block this, all I did was soak it in some coolish room temperature water for 20 minutes. And then I kind of like flattened it out and hung it over a shower rod. And then in the morning, because that was at night, I took it outside here in Texas. It's sunny and beautiful. I laid it on a table and kind of stretched it out a little. I didn't really pin it because I wanted this bottom to still curl up. I like the bottom to curl and my top looking like this. I love it so much. I would highly recommend the pattern and the yarn to you guys. Um, I love it. I, I just love it. I can't, I have nothing bad to say about it. There was no mistakes in the pattern. The yarn wasn't splitty. It was nothing but a joyful experience to knit. I would definitely and probably will definitely be making another one because I've said it before. I love a good cowl. Isn't this pretty guys? Man, like I said, it does not go with this outfit today, but <laughs> I love it anyways. So that's it guys. That's all about my frothed milk cowl. And if you've ever made this pattern, tell me if you like it. If you're going to make it, please like share on Instagram or Ravelry, tag me, let me know because I love it. I can't recommend this enough. I will be going over to Holly's page to see if she has any other patterns I might want to make. So pretty. And I'll definitely be checking out Mint Rain Yarns again. This was a gift from my best friend Al. See Al, I finally made something with it. <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.